need. Most of us have probably got something in our home that's broken, like a kettle that doesn't work anymore, or a zip on a coat that keeps getting stuck in the cart made yourself. Well, we are being urged not to throw them away, but to uh, get them fixed and reuse them, and that is the concept behind the Cambridge Repair Cafe, as Emily Knight reports. Seamstress Martina Gilbert gets to work on a broken rucksack, just one of hundreds of items brought in to the Cambridge Repair Cafe. A one-stop shop for fixing and mending everything from clothing to electronics. We've uh, had a rucksack that has frayed at the zip um, and basically it was all come away and obviously you can't really use it because it wasn't closing properly. Um, so what I've been able to do is to obviously stitch it down again. Some people I think get a bit like, oh it's no good, so get rid of it, buy something new, but that's definitely something that we're trying to do the opposite of. Um, I always believe that it's a way to repair something. The aim is to breathe new life into everyday objects which we may think about throwing away because they're broken, ultimately to keep them out of landfill. We really want to draw attention to waste and to consumerism. Uh, waste is a really important issue, it's an issue that people feel really, really strongly about. Repair cafes are really a growing movement, so repair cafes have been springing up all over the world, there's over 5,000 repair cafes globally, um, and we've got a real hub of repair cafes here in Cambridgeshire. It's a little fridge that I have in my spare room so people can make themselves and first thing in the morning a cup of tea. And it's broken and you've not been able yes. to use it for a while? Um, yes, it, it's been working but now it's just stopped and this chap is really, really good. He's finding out where the actual mistake is. So tell us about what you've got there and what you've bought in. I bought two things. This is one I've had a long time, about 25 years. It should have a shaft, which I hope the repair is going to fix. And the lady at the back, being driven, ought to have a parasol. So um, I hope they can put it all together. Hey, we're fixing uh, an espresso coffee machine here. Um, which uh, dribbles water all over the table. Uh, I enjoy repairing things and uh, the rewards you get when you see a delight on somebody's face when you bring something back from the dead is, is priceless. Tara Button vlogs about sustainability and runs an internet company promoting long-lasting products. People don't realise that it's one of the easiest things that you can do for the environment. So for example, if you make a t-shirt last two years instead of one year, you save about 24% on your carbon emissions. And after a day's work, the repair cafe record was broken with 232 successful repairs, beating the existing record of 150. Definitely cause for celebration with a cup of tea and a slice of cake. Emily Knight, ITV News, Cambridge.